This is Code Combat. I'm working on the level Throwing Fire. It's part of their Game Development 1 course. It's level 13. Goals. Change fire direction to vertical. Okay, so change the direction. Vertical is right and left. Horizontal is up and down, so I guess right and left. Some game objects can be configured by setting their properties. Uh, a fire spewer shoots a bunch of fireballs. Cool. By choosing it, by default, it shoots them vertically. You can change it to shoot them, uh, by default, horizontally, vertically, like this. And I think they're putting this in quotes and then the Lee at the end because that's how it needs to be. Spew. So this is now a variable, okay? What we're creating right here is a variable. We are making spew equal to all of this. So game.spawnxy fire spewer at this location. So now when we type spew direction, it really is changing the direction of this thing right here. But we don't have to type all that again. Instead, we made this and then we set it equal to a variable. So we can keep using that variable and what we mean is this thing. It's just a faster way to change up some of the uh, properties or, or these values that control our object. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, and we do have some comments. Oh, lots of code. So a hashtag means that it is for humans. The computer skips over reading this part of the code. Game objects can be configured by setting properties. Don't change this. It sets up the game. Okay, we're not going to change that part. Um, let's see if I can see the whole code at once. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of that line. You don't need to do this. I just like to be able to see it all. Okay, survive, gym, gym, FS1. Oh, fire spear one. And again, this is just a variable. What this references is this fire spewer. You don't need to do this, but just to show you, I'm going to just change this to fire. Uh, I, I don't even know. Fire moon. Okay. And if I use fire moon down here, that will now reference this fire spewer. Or if I use FS, uh, yo, I can do that too. You're just creating a variable. All right, change to horizontal. Change this, okay? And so this is a comment because we want this to be vertical. So we want to leave the quotes, otherwise it won't work vertical, okay? And then that should do that. And then FS2, we did leave that as FS2. Uh, dot direction, because that's the property we're changing to... Uh, in quotes, vertical. Make sure you spell this right. Make sure it's in quotes. Okay. And then if you change yours to random stuff like I did, um, then I'm going to get rid of this because I want us to be able to see all of the code. Uh, then you need to use whatever this says for the next one because I changed it from FS3, fire, moon. Just to show you that it doesn't matter what variable you create as long as you use that to reference it later on. It's just a way to shorthand it so we don't have to keep writing all of this. Um, and there's multiple variables here because look, we're spawning all of these fire spewers at different XY locations, right? Remember, there's an invisible XY graph behind this with X going right and left, which is vertically, and then Y going horizontally up and down. And we can almost get to zero, zero over here. So, all right, one, two, and each of these is in a different location. Looks like we need to, now, what did I name the last one? FSEO. Yours might be FS4 still. I was just showing that I can change it. FSEO dot uh, direction equals, and then in quotes, vertical. Again, 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 make sure you spell it right. Let's hit play and see. Okay. So let's go get this gem. That's kind of cool and terrifying. <laughs> uh, is that? Oh, great. So looks like this is the code.
And if you didn't change it over, you could still have that being SSFS3. Just make sure you have it matched down here. Awesome. Let's keep going.